Mark Zuckerberg and Sam Altman just dropped the biggest announcement about AI agents, and it's so big that it will completely change the future of work. Mark Zuckerberg just announced that Meta will have AI agents that can effectively be a mid-level engineer at your company, not in 10 years, but this year. These agents won't just write code, they'll be able to build entire applications. Sam Altman calls this the most important project of this era, not just another tech trend, but a complete reinvention of how business works. But here's what's really happening. These aren't just empty predictions. I'm going to show you exactly how this technology is already changing everything about how we work. Before we get into the video, you know what's really crazy? While I'm here talking to you, the real Onik is out there running multiple businesses, scaling companies, and working with clients. That's right, I'm his AI clone, created to share his knowledge while he focuses on building his empire. If that doesn't freak you out about how far AI has already come, I don't know what will. Okay, let's get started, and this will blow your mind. Salesforce just announced they won't hire a single new engineer in 2025. Why? Their AI agents have already boosted productivity by over 30%. This isn't some far off future prediction. It's happening right now. And I'm going to show you exactly how this technology is about to change everything about how we work. But first, let me break this down in a way that will blow your mind. We've seen three massive waves of AI and each one is more powerful than the last. Check this out. Remember when Netflix started recommending shows you might like, or when Amazon started suggesting products you'd probably want to buy. That was the first wave, predictive AI. It looks at patterns and predicts what might happen next. Pretty basic stuff, right? Then came generative AI and things got interesting. Suddenly we had ChatGPT writing articles, Midjourney creating incredible artwork, and Claude helping write sales pages that convert like crazy. I mean, these tools can create almost anything based on what they've learned. That was mind blowing enough. But now, now we're entering the age of agentic AI, and this is where everything changes. See, while generative AI sits there waiting for you to tell it what to create, agentic AI actually takes action on its own. It doesn't just respond. It thinks, decides, and does. Look at Clara, a global payments company. Their AI agents handled 2.3 million customer conversations in just one month, doing the work of 700 full-time employees. Resolution time dropped from 11 minutes to two minutes, driving $40 million in pure profit. Let me show you exactly how this works with a real example from my business. When someone applies to attend one of our live events, Here's what used to happen. A lead would come in, sit in our system for up to 24 hours, waiting for someone to review it, then finally get a response. Pretty standard, right? Here's what happens now with our AI agents. First agent receives the application and reads it with full understanding. Second agent checks it against our criteria and database. If they qualify, a third agent sends a personalized approval. If we need more information, a fourth agent knows exactly what to ask. All of this happens in 30 seconds instead of 24 hours. But here's where it gets really interesting. These agents aren't just following rigid rules. They're actually thinking and adapting. If someone's application is borderline, they know to look deeper. If someone has unique circumstances, they understand context. Now let me show you something even more powerful about agentic AI and how these agents can actually work together. Think of it like a relay race where each runner has a specific job, but they're all working towards the same goal. That's agentic AI. Here's an example of how I'm using multiple agents working together for content creation. First agent takes my raw audio brain dump. It listens, understands, and outlines my content pillars. Like passing a baton, it hands those content pillars to the next agent. Second agent looks for the best topics for me to speak about. A third agent writes my content, and the fourth agent publishes my content without me even opening the social media app. The results? We're seeing a 12,000% increase in engagement on Twitter, and we're getting 30,000 to 60,000 impressions daily, picking up 15 to 20 followers a day, all using agents that actually sound like me. And you know what's crazy? McKinsey predicts AI will automate up to 50% of current work activities by 2030, but I think that's conservative. We're already seeing companies deploy AI agents that can handle entire customer service departments, manage complex marketing campaigns, and even write and optimize code. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds great, but how do I actually get started? Here's exactly what you need to do. Step one, identify the most time-consuming processes in your business. What tasks are eating up your day? Is it customer service? Is it content creation? Um, is it lead generation? 
or is it sales follow-ups? Make a list of everything that's repetitive and time-consuming. Step two, start with one simple implementation. Don't try to automate everything at once. Pick one process where you can see immediate results. Maybe it's using AI agents to handle customer inquiries or to create social media content. Step three, use the right tools. You don't need to be a tech genius to implement this. Tools like N8N, Runner, or even simple GPT can help you create basic AI agents without any coding knowledge. Step four, scale gradually based on results. Once you see success in one area, expand to others. Let the results fund your next implementation. The opportunity here is massive, think about it. What could you do if you suddenly had 10 times more capacity? How much more could you earn if you could serve 10 times more clients? What would happen to your business if you could operate 24 seven without burning out? But here's the thing, this opportunity won't last forever. The businesses that move first will have an insurmountable advantage. They'll be able to offer better service at lower prices while maintaining higher margins. Look at what's happening right now. Larry Ellison, Masayoshi Son, and Sam Altman just announced Project Stargate, a $500 billion investment in AI infrastructure. They're building data centers the size of small cities. Why? Because they know what's coming. So here's my question for you. What one process are you going to automate in your business this week? Not this month, not this quarter, this week, because that's the time frame we're dealing with now. Drop a comment below and let me know what you're planning to implement. And if you found this valuable, hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be sharing a lot more about how to navigate this AI revolution. Remember, when life pushes you, stand straight, smile, and push it the heck back. See you in the next one.